Hello everyone and welcome. This is just going to be a brief video demonstration of some changes and new features going from Internet Explorer 8 to Internet Explorer 9. So let's get down to it. Let's go ahead and open up Internet Explorer 8 on the right side here and Internet Explorer 9 on the left side. Right away you're going to notice some differences and maybe some changes that they've made. The first thing I wanted to cover was your favorites. On Internet Explorer 8 your favorites were indicated by a star and located on the left side. When you clicked that, it dropped your favorites down here and displayed them below, as lo along with your feeds and history. So let's go ahead and click that favorites icon again to hide it, and let's go over here to IE9. They've actually moved this from the left side of the screen to the right side, still indicated by a star. So when we click that star, it's going to drop down and list the exact same favorites you have along with your feeds and history. So let's click that star again and hide it, and move on here. The next thing is uh, your favorites bar. Directly below your search bar here is your favorites bar. You're used to this in IE8. So in IE9, this still exists, but not by default. So what we have to do is go over to our browser here, up in this blank space, and right-click and left-click on favorites bar. It'll then display your favorites bar permanently, unless you go back and right-click and uncheck that. So if we set our favorites bar here, we close out of our browser, open a new one, it's still going to be there, unless we go back and uncheck that. So your favorites bar still exists there, which you need to make that change. The next thing I wanted to go over was in IE8, you noticed you used to have a Google or Bing search bar here. So if I was on a random site, let's say I was on Wikipedia, and I wanted to search for something on Google, I could just type it right here. Let's say football. If I type football right there, it's going to bring up a Google search for football. This still exists in IE9, but they've actually kind of incorporated it into the search bar. So if we don't include a www dot, it's going to take that as us searching in Google or Bing. So if we want to search for football here, since we don't have that search bar up here, we're just going to type in football right here. When we type in football, it's going to Google search the exact same thing for us. So let's jump back to our home pages here. Another thing you're going to notice, in IE8, you had tons of options and preferences and places to configure things, like tools, safety, your printing settings, all that. They've actually condensed this in Internet Explorer 9 to a, uh, to a little gear right here. So when you click on the gear, you're going to still display all those same options and be able to set all the same stuff. It's just kind of condensed and kind of less cluttered on your browser. The last thing I wanted to go over, which is a new addition to Internet Explorer 9, is called Pin Sites. Essentially what Pin Sites are is just like a favorites bar or a favorite. It's just a shortcut to a website. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here in Internet Explorer 9, and let's say we're going to go to Wikipedia. If we want this to be pinned to our taskbar, which is this long bar at the bottom of our computer, we're going to left-click, hold, and drag that icon all the way down to our taskbar. When we're over it, you can see it says pin to taskbar, so we're going to release our left-click, and it's going to pin it there. Now the whole point of this, let's say we back out, we just booted up our computer, and we pinned this a couple days ago, I, right as soon as my computer comes up, I want to go to Wikipedia. I'm going to click on that icon, and it's going to go right to the site. It's just another shortcut, another way to get there faster without having to open up your browser. I hope this has been helpful in uh, showing you guys some of the changes and some of the new features, and I hope you all have a great day.